I want to talk about you being reported, okay? And hello everyone, it's Ishmael and your priest. I welcome you to today's video. You know, there are things which I like to put it like God has given you some so many good things. I like the fact that even somewhere I got to realize that it will be noticed that the enemy stands in the way. I like even the Lord Jesus is described it as like when a word is being preached, the enemy does different things. He can steal a word from somebody. He can do this kind of stuff. Let me tell you, the, the bottom line is the existence of the enemy of your life, the existence of the enemy of our life. So what does it mean? At the end of the day, is everything that you are seeing right now as a product of your own failure, your shortcomings. Uh-uh. Let me give you the good news. No, it's not that you can't, but there is also an enemy. And an enemy is not directly always with the devil himself. For instance, let me tell you that the devil knows that he is, um, if he is to enter this world physically, he is a spirit. He does not have a body. If it is to function like you and me right now and have a body and be able to do and affect the world as it is, he will need a physical body. That is why the Lord Jesus, when he came to die for the world, what did he do? He, he made sure that he's born so that he can have his own physical body. Or else he, was, he, he, he would have just, um, what should I say? He would have just used somebody, but you know, other people's things are difficult. People can disobey people. You can instruct them. But of course, the sacrificial thing, it needed him to sacrifice his own blood. That is why he had to be born. That is a topic for another day. Now, where I'm getting into is this. Make be Remember this one thing. Enemy Satan. A witches, whoever, when they want to ruin you, there are some things they don't have the power to do them himself hence satan also used the judas you get what i'm saying had he had it this way you could have just went there and acted like a disciple but it was impossible so that is why you find that at one point at your workplace they don't they no longer like you at one point your spouse they start to lose attraction to you at one point you just get fired at one point people just stop hating you they sabotage you you work so hard but nobody what is the influence? Who is causing all those things? So now I want to clarify this for you. The enemy, Satan, gets involved. There are people who report you. And be rest assured, at times even I, I do get to a point where I'd be like, is this necessary? I'm sure we all do get to that point where you feel like you want to come up with an excuse on why you should not pray, you should not fast, you should not give, thinking or wanting to wish that things can are just a coincidence. It's just by luck. But now, nah, uh -uh. unfortunately, time and time and time again, we get to prove that the spiritual world exists. We do see people that we also personally know manifesting. Some of you, you know how to manifest. So that enough can give you enough evidence to know to make you be aware that you are not alone in your body. People are not alone. And as a result, the very same things that are making people to roll out, to do crazy things, they are the reason why some people can just decide to make, to remove you from the list. Can lie against you. Can get you fired. So those things alone can make you see that the seriousness of uh, the spiritual world, how the enemy of your life never wants you to have good things. That is why today in this video, I don't want to discourage you. I don't want to uh, speak negativity, but I want to speak positivity. That is why out of the blue, what a moment, if you can know the enemy you are facing, if you, didn't, you can know the problem, you will be able to have a solution. The Lord is there. That is why he said, walk with me. If he knew we don't need him, you wouldn't have bothered. And we know how people are suffering historically in the Bible when they had no God. Or if you don't want to go back to the Bible, you want to doubt a little bit and be like, ah, oh, but what if, what if, what if? What about now? How many people are we seeing? How many times do we be like, Lord, can't you do something? Oh, people are, you hear these, these things and that and that and that. That shows you that people need the Lord God. 
we need the Lord God. And as a result, if we can have him, he says, it's like he, he promises us absolutely. He does not leave no uh, a stone unturned. Allow me to tell you that each and everything, be it good or bad that is going on in your life, he knows. Maybe you can ask me. Okay, if God knows and if God cares, why did he allow? Why did he let? Why did is he not doing? And you know, like, I just thank the Lord. The Lord keeps on revealing to me time and time again, biblically for that matter. I get to see why things are the way they are. And I get to see more on why. And I, I, sometimes I could look at the Bible. I'm like, I guess I've been praying uh, wrong or I've been expecting wrongfully so. And what do I mean? Let me ask you a question today right now. Where was God when David uh, was sleeping with Bathsheba? When he was plotting to kill the husband to the point where he killed? Where was God when Jezebel killed? Uh, what is that? Is it, uh, is it Nabal or something like that? For his farm. And then God only came after he had died. After the farm was even already given to Ahab. I think that was Ahab, the husband of Jezebel. You get what I'm saying? So, I said even Jezebel in the beginning. Yeah, because Jezebel killed uh, 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 Is it Nabal or something like that. So, he came. He only came after the deed. He only came after David killed. You see, he only... Where was God when Satan was plotting to uh, to take over the, hand, the, the heaven? You got what I'm saying? Now, this shows us that it's not like he does not see your situation. The Bible in the book of Psalms says, The Lord sits and he laughs at the enemy when they are plotting because he knows their day is near. So you see, he is not a God that just always comes immediately, always. No, not that he can't, he can and he does. We have instances where he just acted immediately. But there are times he just let, he watches and he comes after. When the Israelites were building their own false god, taking gold, he came after they were done. But when they were planning, he never came. That's when he told Moses that your people have now turned against me. Now they have. Now, to put it simple is this. In everything wrong that goes on in your life they have planned he saw them he saw you being reported he saw them in all these things but be assured that he won't let it leave it as it is he is coming through for you and with this being said i want to pray i want to decree and declare that in your life Everywhere where you've been reported, you've been sabotaged, where they've spoken wicked against you. Let the Lord come through in your defense. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.